My next guest, who's in Quantico on ABC at 10 p.m. Eastern Time every Sunday night, including this Sunday night, the man who plays Liam O'Connor in that show with Priyanka Chopra. Mr. Josh Hopkins, good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Thank you for coming back here. Thanks for having me. Now, I remember when you were on previous, you were talking about your love of the Rams. Yes. Despite you being a Kentucky guy, right? Yeah, I don't even know how it happened. It's how like, did, you, don't was like, you don't recall? I was like four, and I decided I liked their uniforms. You know, I thought the little Ram thing was cool. Yes. And I, and I went all in. I went crazy so deep So who was in. the guy? Was Ferragamo the Vince guy? Vince Ferragamo. That was kind of the, yeah, they had like... Uh, the Jim and Jack Youngblood young anchored the defense. Jackie Slater, sure. offensive line. Mm -hmm. um, and I stayed with him all through the, the Dickerson years. Then I became a freak Eric Dickerson fan. Like, I still, like, 1,808 yards is still a rookie record. Mm -hmm. 2,105 still the record. And <laughs> wow, it's like Rain Man. Like, we almost dropped, instead of toothpicks, yes. Eric Dickerson rushing yards on the floor, and you just I, able to count it off Occasionally, the top. I will see, see him somewhere, and I'll just walk by, and I'll be like, 1,808, 2,105, you're at Viola uh, from Sealy, Texas, and just kind of walk off. And so what, he, he thinks there's, like, just a minion of guys like me that just kind of like aliens that come up to him and say that and scurry off. Well, I, 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 it's me every time. I'm sure you're not the only one, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, there's enough... There's enough people in the world, but that's, does he look at you like he needs a restraining order or something like that? Or he, like that? he's polite, he smiles scared, <laughs> a scared smile. A scared smile. <laughs> now, did, is it true that you were a ball boy for the Rams in a game or no, something they, like they, that? No, they, 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 actually, they invited me to come to Los Angeles to be, they, my fandom spread. From, <laughs> from <laughs> Kentucky? Yes. From Lexington? My fandom spread. Uh -huh. And, uh, my parents wouldn't let me, thank God. Okay. Been, on drugs of every kind. But now, here you, here, are, here you are, here you are, living in Los Angeles, now on Quantico, you know. Yes, and yes. You've, got a, you've made a name, a career for yourself. You're Mr. Josh Hopkins, as you're known on Twitter. Yes. Would you, formal. now that they're back in the Coliseum, give an opportunity to be a ball boy for a game? Oh, would, yeah. Would you do that, or you think it's a little too weird for a man of your age? Oh, to... it's definitely weird, but I would do it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's odd. It's, I've proven with Eric Dickerson several times, I'm, I'm okay with a little weird. Right. Yeah. Right. Can you believe they're, they're, they're back here? Are there some people around here who are still just, it's still sinking in. Yeah, I know. I'm so happy that the city needs it, needed it for a long time. The NFL needed it. I think so too. Yeah. But there's a lot of people who think that the uh, Los Angeles doesn't care, there's not gonna be a passion for it. Um, there's, a, there, there's a lot of people who think that about Los Angeles sports, and, Josh? And, and in a large part, they're correct. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of transplants, whatever, but there's a passionate base here. Mm -hmm. The people that, you know, the, the, the Dodgers base, the mm -hmm. people that really, that, you know, come out for the, right. the Rams are back parade. Now, you know Cam Newton's coming here this year, too. And I know you're an Auburn guy. Yeah. Carolina's visiting the, the Los Angeles Rams oh, they this are. year. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking news to you right oh, this now. This is good. This so, is good are you, so would it be safe to assume you're a Cam guy because you're an Auburn guy? or what? what yeah, are, I mean, I went to Auburn. I, 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 yeah, I'm always I'm supporting him, you know. I, I think he got kind of a bum rap then the last year, them sticking mics in his face and him being sad. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you... you no, he's, he's kind of a baby. But, mm -hmm. but, uh, I don't know. He had a he had a great year. He and, did, and it, it just it's sad that the the last thing on everyone's mind is is the negative of it. Would you would year. you have a problem if you you like say you're doing this scene, you you nailed the scene in Quantico, or you didn't? Let's yeah, say okay, say just on that, or let's just throw it out here, Cougar Town, anything that you've done, okay, and then you have to do a press conference right after. Would you be fine with that sort of thing, Josh? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I would be fine with it. Wouldn't you think? Yeah, I mean, if it, you know, mm -hmm. I don't think any any scenes I've done would be like. Losing the Super Bowl. But. No, you don't think so. <laughs> no, no. You don't think so. You no. Sure? Well, no. you know when you did this scene with Priyanka, who, by the way, Steve Mariucci is in love with her. He is should it, be. Is there something that we can do to get? Because that would be for all of us at NFL Network, a Priyanka Mariucci summit would be. I mean, can you make something like this happen for me? I I can Josh? work from my end. Okay. okay. Well, my end is secure. Okay. It's like, okay. All right. He's an empty nester right now, so he would basically wherever he's got to fly to, he'll be. He's he's there. I think. What do you think? Priyanka make that happen. She's a cool girl. Where are you? Where do you shoot Quantico? We shoot shot it? in Montreal this past year. See, that's a little geographically unsound that's, for that's, Steve. That's that's tough. Okay. But I thought he I thought he was all in. I know. Well, I, I, yes, I think he would be all in. Okay. For that. okay. All right. All okay. Right, that sort of thing, but. 
Key, he's, he's got like this creepy thing for, for going on right there. <laughs> a lot of people do. This show is blowing up, man. Uh, tell me about your experience on, on Quantico with her and this show on ABC. I mean, you must be loving this sort of thing that's going on right now. Yeah, I mean, it's been fun, you know. Uh, it was a long time to be, Montreal's a great city, but 10 months mm -hmm. away from home was, was a long time, so I'm glad to be back. Mm -hmm. But the, we got two more episodes coming up. Um, all the fans are dying to know who the bad guy is, and it's going to be revealed in these last two episodes. Is that right? Yes. No, not one of those things where they leave you, you know, wondering about next year with a cliffhanger. Right. All the secrets will be revealed this year. Right here, right now. Right here. I'm going to say it right now. Change the channel. If you three, two. I'm not going to. Really You're not going to. No, okay. I can't. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll get fired. Well, we can't. Well, you can't give away all the juice, but it's going to be this year, essentially. Yes. Okay. It's next Sunday and the next Sunday after that, you'll know everything. How is this compared to stuff that you've done before? Um, well, you know, I just spent six hours on Cougar. I mean, six years yeah. on Cougar Town. Right. And uh, this <laughs> this couldn't be more different. I know that. Yeah. This is like. But everything else that you've done is. This seems to me it 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 is something that's completely different from it stuff is. that you've done it so It is. Far. You know, I did want to do something different. I had no idea it'd be this mm -hmm. radically different. Um, it sort of makes me miss comedy. Okay. <laughs> it's right. serious every week, you know, can get a little tedious, but right. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky that the show's doing well and okay. I've made some great friends. Well, a, a, an episode of Cougar Town, uh, does uh, a, a sound man on the Rich Eisen show who just gets new veneers and is strolling down the aisle of a supermarket <laughs> and is stopped by women about his veneers. Is that the worst episode of Cougar Town you've ever heard? Or something that you think could be workshopped into an episode of Cougar Town? Like my guy over there, Josh. What do you think? I mean, I, if, if we could workshop it, I think there's something there. Okay. Yeah. Like workshopping Del Tufo out of it? Or <laughs> where do we go on that front? Well, what I'll have think? to see the veneers. It's right over there. What do you think? Can you look? Can you see right over there? Oh, you know, we can make that work. <laughs> Thank you. you said yeah. That. yeah. Great. That's Hollywood. Okay. Are you ready to make somebody's dream come true? I am. With a $50 gift card to Sherry's Berries? Oh, I am. Okay. Josh Hopkins is here on the Rich Eisen Show. We're going to take a, a minute break. You all have at least one minute left to go to show at richeisenshow.com and send us an email of the most embarrassing place or most embarrassing thing your mom's ever caught you in. Log, you ready? I'm ready. Take a look at the email, just in case somebody sends one in the next All minute. Right, I'll, it, could I'll be a it could be a last-minute entry. <laughs> Josh Hopkins of Quantico is going to help give away a $50 gift card when we come back here on The Rich Eisen Show. Welcome back to The Rich Eisen Show. We have asked you to email us, show at richeisenshow.com, to win a $50 gift card just in time for Mother's Day from Shari's Berries and to help us um, award it uh, from Quantico. Uh, on ABC. The new next episode airs this Sunday with the finale uh, the following Sunday, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern on ABC. Josh Hopkins, are you ready? Do you feel the pressure right now? The golf-like pressure, do you think? I feel it. Okay, he feels it right now. Go for it, Chris Law. So we asked people to send us in their most embarrassing situation that their mom caught them in. So you can understand kind of what we're working with here and what we got. Here, here's, here, I'm going to read five. You tell me which one you like the best. This first one's from John H., when I was in the eighth grade going into ninth, ninth, my mother took me to get a new cup and supporter for ice hockey. Starting high school was a big deal, oh and I thought I needed a larger cup supporter, <laughs> being that I was moving up in the world among the men. I picked one out, and my mother says, oh, said loudly to me, you don't need anything that big. Oh, boy. I looked around in terror, and two other men, including an employee, all started busting out laughing. <laughs> oh, John, John, start. That's John. John H. Hockey Cup. Okay. It's a good one. John H. So make a mental note of John H. Hockey yeah, Cup. Yeah, that's, that's tough. That's a good that's start. A club, that's a clubhouse leader, if yes, you've ever seen yes. it. Okay. All right. Okay, this one. Okay. <laughs> This one's from Bert. Okay. Bert. Hey, boy. hey, boys. I was 16 walking around in Olympia sports with a couple buddies when I get a call from, from father. I answer to him, la laughing his ass off. I asked him, what's so funny? He replied, your mother wants you to stop leaving her future get grandchildren in your socks and tossing them under your oh, bed. All right. Mm. Put, that, put oh, Bert aside. What? Bert, put, oh. Bert's done. Bert's done. Bert's done. Okay. Come on, dude. Well, you look at the topic here. Dude. This is what we're getting. Yeah, but... but Okay. Clean it, you know, give me something. Th Thanksgiving break, sophomore year, college at my parents' house with my girlfriend. I'm already walking on eggshells because she's Southern Baptist and I'm Jewish. I walk into my parents' room the morning, back to the airport, my mom says, good morning. Uh, yeah, that one's going to be good, too, so based <laughs> off the last one. Based off the last one, no, yeah, you do reaction. Uh, are they all like that, Chris? Yeah, mo most of them, most of them are. Um, 
Okay, here's one. Thank you. Rich, I'm getting married in the fall. We, we recently Lord. had my future mother-in-law help us, his fiance and him, clean out their old apartment after they bought the new house they were moving into. They had some tacos for dinner and didn't know, he didn't know that his mother-in-law was in the room that he walked into to pass some gas. Her mother, his mother-in-law is a nurse at a local hospital, and after hearing her relieve herself, she asked if he had a medical condition. To this day, he's not sure if it was in jest or serious. Please help me smooth things over with my future mother-in-law. Love the show. Thanks. That's from Matt. Okay. Okay. We may only have the two submissions. Are you serious? Of, the rest yeah, of them are of all went... like where guys couldn't control themselves? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here, here's one. Uh, this is from Justin. So far, so he... far. Hold on a second, Josh. So far, it's the, uh, the hockey cup guy. Pretty much, right? John H. John. Yeah, I think John H. is, is this, so far. See, that's the steel trap that you've honed on Quantico right there. Yes. Okay, well, I didn't yes. even write down John H. Look at you. It's locked in there. Yeah, not just a hat rack. That's OK. Do you want one final one? Uh, you tell well, me, I man. Keep it clean. I'm keeping you in charge of this thing. <laughs> Justin, this one's from Justin. Had, had his girlfriend over to his parents' house. He used the bathroom and apparently forgot forgot to flush it when he, when he used it. Mm -hmm. His mom decided to interrupt the date night movie uh, that he was watching with his girlfriend and let him know that it smelled really bad when she walked in. Needless to say, no more dates with her. Thanks, Mom. And uh, he says he loves the show. Oh, gosh. So, wow. Mom exposes... His, I think, his I think, junk. I think, what do you think, Josh? What do you think? What do we I go mean, with? We have a winner. We have a winner, yeah. and that, that winner is, what's his name again? John H. John H. <laughs> Very good. Congratulations, John H. Wow, could you imagine you're going to get, a, get, a, get an athletic supporter, and mom's like, I remember. Do you have anything like that? Doing that, going with uh, playing football, like oh. peewee football. What did you play? And having to go. What did you play? What's, what what, what uh, position did you play, Josh? Uh, I think a uh, defensive end and like right tackle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you went. So well, you, were... you know, I was I was, you know, pretty big. Mm -hmm. If you were 12, you had to weigh under 100 pounds, mm -hmm. and I was 11 and weighed like 112. <laughs> so I, I was real meat on the line there. Okay. So, um, but we did win the city championship. Okay. Shillito Raider. So you went with your mom to buy an athletic supporter? Yes. She, she you know, as you do when you're 11, mm -hmm. and um, but. I can remember her, mm -hmm. it being a little odd mm -hmm. and picking sizes. Is that and, right? And, and <laughs> yeah, my mom sized me up, actually. She said, I think you, you know. Uh, she yeah, bumped she, you up yeah. a notch? I think it was just being cool to me with the guys around, <laughs> you know? Okay. Which was, I'm now looking back, thank you, mom. That's right. And obviously, John H. got scarred by this, and I, I've always felt pretty confident about myself, and it could go right back to that moment. This is a teachable moment. Yes. Do you realize what we've stumbled onto? Yes. A teachable moment for moms and what they could do to their sons. If it went the other way, I would have given you a gift card. But, oh. but you don't need well, that. No, no, I don't need it. You don't need that. Yeah. Uh, okay, John H., of, where's, where's John H. from? Uh, I don't believe he put on there where he's John from. A, John H., uh, from, uh, he's a Lilliputian, obviously. Uh, he's a Lilliput. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all right? Did, really? did, did, did John H. give a hand size? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, at any rate, he's got a $50 gift card. Yes. Of Shari's Bears. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you Josh for having Coppins. me. You bet. You come back anytime. My Kentucky please? Wildcats going to win their ninth this uh, year? Um, Kentucky basketball? Yeah. Well, what do you think of all that stuff, man? That you, you're, you got a bunch of one and dones every single year. Yeah, who's, I mean... So you don't mind good, it? good for them. Good for you? Good, yeah. The, if the best players that can leave after one year want to come, yeah. we'll take them all. Okay. And you, did you hear that Calipari was rumored to be coming here to coach the Lakers? Or at least yeah, it's every year. His you son know. is now on, on the Kentucky team. He's, he's, a, he's, he's good in You mean on team. playing or yeah. he's playing? He's walking on this, this year. So, he'll be, so where's he going next year? The Sixers? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, if this, yeah, yeah, it's going to be much? one and done. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think he's a four-year guy. At Mr. Josh Hopkins on Twitter, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.